Welcome back fellows. Today we are going to talk about dated if function in Excel. Excel dated if function returns the difference between two values which are specifically dates. So it shares with us or returns back the value in years, months or days of difference between these two dates. So dated if function is a compatibility function that comes from Lotus 1, 2, 3. But for some unknown reason, it is only documented in Excel 2000. But you can use it in your formulas in all Excel versions since that time. The only problem is that Excel won't help you filling out the arguments for dated if like other functions, but it will work fine if you configure it correctly. So let me demonstrate how you can configure it correctly. In the first column here, column D, we will take an input from Excel using data if function, a difference between two years. So in this case, now we'll calculate only the difference between years, how many years difference we have between these two dates, date one and date two. Let me type the argument here is equal to dated if. This is the syntax, dated if. Then parenthesis dot and we choose the first date that's the first date then the second date is in c3 so we'll choose c3 and then we will choose what to write here if you want to calculate years as we just discussed we have to enter y as an argument and close the parenthesis there we go there's a difference of one year between these two dates now drag it down and see how much we have difference amongst other dates. And you can see multiple differences of years in these dates. So I hope this was clear. Again, I'm repeating the syntax is, is equal to dated if then parenthesis start and you choose the starting date, then comma, you choose the ending date and then comma, y. Y will give a return back years for us. Now let's move on to the next column and we try the same thing with months. So let's see how much difference of months these two dates have. Is equal to same syntax dated if parenthesis start you give the first date you give the second date and then you pull in M that is for months. Okay let's make it capital and close parenthesis. So we have a difference of months, 12 months in these two dates. Let's see what other differences we have and we'll get surprisingly a lot of months here because there are a lot of differences and zero even because there is no month difference here, it's the same month. So by this, you can calculate the number of months between two dates. Now let's work on to the days part and how the syntax would be is equal to dated if sorry dated if parenthesis start let's get the first date again the second date as we did before now guess 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 what will be the syntax here correct it will be d for the days so we close the parenthesis here and enter it gives us exactly and precisely the number of days between these two dates I'll drag it down and we see how much days we have. Whoa, surprise, surprise. We have a lot of days here. So by this, we can calculate multiple different options, days, months, and years. Interesting. Now, what if we would like to ignore one of the parts? So for example, if we would like to ignore here, in this case, um, let's say ignore the months and years and only see the difference of days which means precisely let me let me bring it to you in a, in a different way and maybe you will be able to better understand that so for example we have two dates here so we simply ignore the months and years here and we will take only in the calculation the days 
only the days and we calculate the difference we have only one day difference here even if you see there are difference of years but we would like to calculate only the dates the days number of days so let's see how we can proceed with this so let's calculate 